Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this one I'll be doing a Lunar video part 2 because I felt there were some inaccuracies and I would like to address that and further test the most important ability of debate which is wind spiral. Okay now one thing that stood out was this skill. So uh, this actually just replaces your attack by your magic defense. So all of your attack is no longer usable. So this means like all everything on your weapon and all that is not usable anymore. So like that has repercussions to how you play the hero. And also like your wind spiral can be dispelled. So that's like a huge con from what I heard in the comments. So yeah, like there are downsides to it. The upside is of course you can just invest fully in your magic defense which means you know you'll be really anti-mage like mages can't do anything to you basically so i want to see what the actual you know damage is if i switch up my build a little bit and see if it's any better so without further ado let's get started first off i would like to say also it seems that her passive has been mistranslated in our version so the aura that says magic damage is actually magic damage reduction so we're gonna see in game if that's true or not as well by the way i really appreciate all the likes on the video as well as the views you know i never expected to get nearly a thousand in a day so that's really cool so like you see from this reply now, I'm not sure about the enchantment for the bonus because I don't think that's a good argument. Because her base stat is already like 1.5 times higher than her magic defense. So you can uh, just as easily enchant for attack instead of magic defense. And that outcome will be similar because of her base stat being, you know, much higher, right? So I don't like that argument. But I do like the argument that she gets a magic defense already from her passive from a talent so the faction buff is not a valid i don't think that's a good argument as well because you get a faction buff for increasing your attack power as well so like how is that a valid argument you know what i mean so yeah anyway um let's just get into the real numbers and see how it works and other people say they've been a bit disappointed with her and um, I feel the same way because she's not actually a uh, sweeper, but you, you have to always like think you know she's like a support unit. But the thing is like she looks and feels like a sweeper, so you expect to be you expect her to have really nasty damage. But that's not the case. She's more like a you know something that you can use to whittle down your tanky opponents and kill flyers and uh, do really well one-on-one -on -one against mages so that's her purpose you, you have to get that right she can't like one shot you know enemy cavalry enemy troops that kind of thing most of the time well that said let's let's get on to it now again this is my gear I've recently upgraded a dagger to level 40 and this is my accessory so these, these two all provide magic defense. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to test this build like this in PvE. And and then I'll test it again with another build. And we'll see which one performs better. Okay, now if you look at the buffs, we have magic defense up by 30%. And another one is magic taken reduced by 15%. So I, I don't really believe that this adds to your magic defense. It only adds this one apparently. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attack the cavalry, which I'm, you know, normally weak against. I mean, it's like neutral against. So the damage isn't ultra high, and we're gonna see the damage. So we have a ballista attack coming in, and that's doing 5,600 with a ballista attack. And then we get a wind pressure. And that's gonna cast some random defaults, which is what she's awesome at. And this, look at this, they're like the same level as mine, and she nearly just one shotted a dino, just with that combination. And then look at these, look at these enemies. They're just, you know, destroyed right by her. So um, yeah, that's the beauty of what she's doing. And so that's uh, five thousand six hundred. So the next shot won't be as powerful, so I'm going to see.
Okay, so it was around 4,000 something, and then um, around 5,000 something for a uh, ability hit. Okay, so now I'm going to change it up. I'm going to give her my Cherie's equipment. So Cherie's going to get hers as well. So this is Magic Defense plus 21. You know, which is similar as level 30. So attack, you get way more. You get 1.5 times more attack than Magic Defense already. But anyway, um, I'm going to equip this one. So... Okay, let's see the damage. It's 4,000. See, it's not much. It's not much of a bonus, is it? So as you see there, that was not much of a big deal at all. That didn't change, like, I think, if anything, it made my attack even worse than before. So I can see um, the argument, when you increase her skill, I mean, when you increase her star level, this will go to 20%, uh, so it's going to naturally make the skill a bit better. But to be honest, if you have 6 star and this goes to 20%, 10% isn't enough. Like, it isn't enough to just, you know, you make you want to invest in all magic defense. I mean, if you get, like, if you get enchantment or magic, def magic defense, you think, you, you'd think that you have 1.5 times every, every time you, you invest in this. But the thing is, the attack base stat is much higher already. It's already like almost 1.5 times. So if I do a calculation right now, see, um, so if I divide two, one, two and one, which is her attack by her magic defense, you see it's already very close to 1.5 times already. So, like in summary, like I don't really see the logic in switching it up. So please tell me like if I'm wrong or anything because um, I don't see it, you know, I don't see the argument really and all in all I don't think it's worth it. Okay so because number one it's not giving her like a you know killer shot or anything that can actually do a lot of damage in one turn, it's giving her a move again which kind of sucks in PvP. And, um, I mean, you get more mobility with it, but, you know, it's not really giving you that much damage from my testing. So I really don't see it, guys. Uh, let me know if I, you know, made a mistake in calculation somewhere, but obviously it's not really working. And as you see how much damage I did to that cavalry unit, she's actually really good in PvE. Okay, and these are her gears. I mean, it actually favors magic defense because I gave her magic defense bonuses here. Like I said, I've actually tested this before the review and it wasn't favorable to her for using Wind Spiral. Could it be because I changed her dagger up and it's level 40 dagger now? That might be the reason because, you know, now it's actually more powerful because I changed her dagger up. If I level this up, um, it's going to give me around 10 more magic defense. But, you know, I still don't see it. Even if I do have another 10 magic defense, I, don't, I think it's just going to be equal and I won't get the, you know, the power, the power spike of this skill that, that can actually silence um, an enemy. It's not nullify, it's actually silence someone. And uh, for her rating, I do believe I gave her too high of a rating simply because, well, this skill is not magic damage, it's magic defense. So that's actually a lot worse. So, and she's a support, so support unit, so she's not going to, 
you know, be like a sweeper. So like 8.5 for adventure seems pretty fair actually. And um, plus she's not that, you know, she's not really that good in dragons, that's the only thing. Her, her faction buff for the Queen's Ascension, it really needs to do like a, at least like a fixed damage to the dragon, like not a percent damage, if you know what I mean. So that needs to happen because otherwise her buff is completely pretty mediocre in Dragon. I mean, it's still usable, but it's a bit, you know, whatnot. So yeah, guys, that's all I have to say for now. Uh, I was going to take her to PvP, but it didn't look like it was needed because the damage was kind of bad, to be honest. So yeah, guys, let me know in the comments what you feel is the better build, um, given like what you just seen. And if you have a Luna, like, especially if you have a Luna, please tell me which build you prefer yourself. And, you know, do some testing yourself and tell me if I'm right or wrong. So yeah, I'll just um, end the video here and hope you enjoyed it. And as again, see you on my next one. Peace out, guys.